This video is sponsored by Noom. There are several defining characteristics that will tell you everything you need to know about somebody. Do you wipe front to back? Do you know the difference between the spelling of lose and loose? Do you pour the milk or the cereal first? These are all important questions, but there is no indicator more important than the do you bring your cart back to the cart corral personality test. People that don't return shopping carts in the parking lot are the same kind of golems that live in absolute squalor. Bedrooms looking like a fraternity second floor after a Sigma Chi sex party. The kind of person that would push their own mother in front of an oncoming bus if it meant they could spend just a few more moments thinking about their own selfish needs. Oh, I need to make the tiniest effort to do what's right. Nope, not them, they're too important. Someone gets paid to do it, after all. Yeah, well, someone gets paid to clean bathrooms, too, but I don't smear shit on the walls when I drop a deuce at TGI Fridays. I do what's right. I shit in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding aside, I somehow just found out, years after it was cool, I guess, that there's a YouTube channel called Cartnarks, where this dude's entire goal in life is to just go around to different uh, shopping center parking lots and absolutely harass the shit out of people that don't return their carts to the car corral. <laughs> and it is glorious. Now you guys know I never condone harassing people in public that are just out trying to do their thing for the sake of social media. I've gone over this for years on my channels, Instagrammers, TikTokers that are just fucking obnoxious because they're trying to get clout. This doesn't seem like that. He is kind of harassing people in public, but in this case, I'm gonna give it a pass. Feels like it's for a good cause. You be the judge. Let's check it out. They know what they did. So this guy like travels around. Sometimes he's in LA, sometimes he's in Phoenix, Arizona for this one. Again, I'm just kind of learning about this. Um, but he's been doing this for a while. This is a recent one. This was just a few days ago, or yesterday, I think. But they pit maneuvered this Toyota. That's car's car right there. Come on, buddy. Oh, big dog. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. slapped him with a man. You better get that off my fucking truck right now. <laughs> Look what you did to this car. <laughs> so, so the whole bit is he has like, he's like branding himself as the cart narc and he walks around with like magnets and he just slaps magnets on cars as they're leaving to shame them. He even goes as far as to put these like flags that are also magnets on the top of cars. It gets a little crazy. It takes a certain type of personality to be this guy that goes around to do this. Uh, but as somebody who really appreciates lazy people getting absolutely owned, uh, I kind of enjoy it. I don't care, I didn't touch that car. Get it off my fucking truck. You blocked the car in with your cart. Bro? Right. Madam? Bro? That's it. What's it? I'm just gonna have the cops come. What are, they, what are you gonna tell the cops? That you're you throwing shit in my fucking truck. truck, you idiot! Guess what else you can't do? Put your car in front of the- I like to put my car wherever the fuck I want. Ooh. Get it off my truck! Dude, she can put her cart wherever the hell she wants. This is America. She's entitled to being a lazy slug. I will as soon as you take your cart back where you know it belongs. <laughs> oh. Stole the words right out of her mouth. She was like, oh, fuck, he's right. He's right. Man, I could literally just put the cart. It's like eight feet away. I could just send it over there and none of this would have happened. But now pride is at play. Now she's been shamed for being a lazy slug. So it's only gonna escalate, I imagine. Uh, madam, what's a good thing? Not bro, but thank you so much for doing it, by the way. Oh, you, oh, 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 you're not doing it? <laughs> well, I've got backup magnets for such an occasion. <laughs> they kind of- shit on my truck. Touch my truck again, Wait, I'm calling the cops. Is it your truck or his truck? What the cops gonna do, bro? Get away from my truck. Are you gonna tell the cops that you're causing yeah. a problem? You're gonna say, hey, I'm too lazy to take my cart back? No, now it's out of principle. Get Go. in the truck. This has always been about principle. The Good. principle of picking up is up to yourself. Good. Why do you keep walking at me like that? You need to get away from my truck. <laughs> is it your truck or her truck? It's both of our trucks. Too. Okay, and is it your truck oh, or, her, or your cart or her cart? It's the store's cart. But you borrowed it and then you left it out like cart. a lazy bones. Exactly. It's the store's cart. Do you say that when you use a tray at a restaurant, you just toss it on the table and you put it back where it yeah. belongs? Well, why are you such a lazy bones? <laughs> um, <laughs> you better fucking run. Why? I don't think I'll have to run, quite frankly. No offense to your speed abilities. Oh, you think <laughs> God damn, he is crucifying this woman. You didn't have to do her like that, bro. Good Lord. I mean, a brisk walk is probably gonna suffice, but oh my God, put her on the cross already. So? I think I'm probably faster walking backwards, <laughs> as I just proved. <laughs> She is visibly upset, and I get it. He's messing with her truck, and there's nothing that we love more than trucks in this country. Like I said, the only thing we like more than that, maybe, 
is making money, which is why this video is sponsored by Noom. So give me a minute, we'll chat about that, and then we'll get back to the action. Yeah. Many of you know that my wife and I had a transformative year in 2021, but one of the hardest parts for me in sustaining new, healthier habits is when the oppressive stress of simply existing in today's climate uh, tries to derail you constantly. That's why I continue my relationship with Noom, a digital health platform that leverages science, psychology, and community to make living a healthier, happier lifestyle sustainable. It offers daily lessons that help teach you and guide you along the way, while the food and exercise tracker and their vast recipe database equip you with the self-awareness you need to make better decisions. And the ease of adding and finding recipes, plus my ability to sync my smartwatch to Noom to effortlessly track my activity and exercise throughout the day gives me total control over my daily Routines. When I start slacking on my tracking, old habits are waiting on the sidelines getting ready to pounce. But their community, their incredible support coaches, and the lessons I've learned along the way have helped me escape the all or nothing mentality and continue making healthier decisions even on my off days. Of course, I made some behavioral changes, but that's the entire point. They're not crippling changes that suck the joy out of my life, they're sustainable changes. My wife still crushes ice cream, I still enjoy drinking cocktails while I stream Elden Ring. It's about the big picture of health and wellness. So if you needed a nudge to start living healthier or you want a new tool to sharpen your edge, give Noom a try. You can click the link in the description below to take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick, it's easy, and we'll get you started on your custom plan. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate it. <gasps> My magnet! I got several backups, thank goodness. I will as soon as you take your cart back. Bro. Brosif? Broheim? Bro Chacho? Bro Minion? What are you gonna tell the cops? I'll talk to the cops too if you Bro want me minion. to. I'll say we got the lazy bones out here. I don't give a fuck what you say I am. Don't touch people's stuff. Don't you see the principle though? <laughs> I absolutely do the that you're touching do you? other people's no, property. Let's take a step back. This cart could hurt this person's property. Really? Yes. Is it near it? It's pretty. Can I hit that person's property? But no, it's on an angle and it's loose. No. I mean, it's one thing to leave your cart like in between the parking spaces. She dead ass just left it in front of another parked car space. I mean, she took lazy slug and just turned it up a notch to let me just fuck this guy's car and leave it right in front of it. So someone else has to move it to get out. It's not even like the cart guy collecting the carts. The worker has to deal with it. It's the person that wants to leave has to then move this lazy slug's car. It's about the principle. You damn right it is, you lazy slug. You chose to touch my truck. And yeah, <laughs> after what? After you chose to leave your car like, why do they have the cart returns, do you think? I am not about Just... principle any longer. You touched my oh. property. Wait, is that do a... you understand oh. that? I think I did it intentionally. I was fully aware of what I did. I mean, he didn't really touch your property. He just, he put a magnet on it. So it like left his hands. It's not going to cause any damage. It's just a magnet. Your car's got some metal components that it's sticking to. It's just the perfect way to shame the shit out of somebody. And again, if this was for any other reason than the cart meme, I'm not sure I'd be so enthusiastic, but you guys know the cart meme's a big deal. I mean, just look at this shit. This has been going on for years, the debate. You, you guys know this meme, right? There is no dire emergency. Do you accept your duty to return the cart even though you gain nothing? I mean, this has caused people's heads to explode on Twitter. Pick up after yourself and don't be lazy. We're gonna affect other people. Really? Because I pay people to do this. Do you, okay, they pay people inside to clean the bathrooms. Guess who works here? My daughter and my son-in-law. There it was. You knew it was coming. Really? Because I pay people to do this. Motherfucker, you don't pay them anything, right? This is, they just, and he used the, he used the bathroom analogy, which is kind of funny because that was the first thing that came to my mind at the beginning. The people get paid to do this argument is the weakest shit of all time. It applies to so many different things. Movie theaters, for example. People get paid to clean movie theaters after you go and watch a movie with your large popcorn. And if you fuck it, I could literally go to a movie, stand up, and shake my popcorn all over that motherfucker so there was popcorn on every single seat. Guess what? Someone would get paid to clean it up after I'm done, but that still makes me a piece of shit. They're called common courtesies for a reason, and just like common sense, they're not so fucking common, are they? I'm well aware. <laughs> they pay people to clean up the bathrooms. Do you take a dump on the seats? Because they pay people to eventually clean up after you. <laughs> no, you do it the same, bro. Addressing my analogy, you dump which is in a the great sink. analogy, by the way. Well, we don't care about Be your analogy, Because bro. had you come that, care about the fucking car, grab the car. The man's got a Chevrolet t-shirt on, for Christ's sakes. You put a magnet on his truck. You know Honey Boo Boo was gonna get fucking lit, right? You knew the second you touched this man's truck. You know how much money? He's literally spent his entire life blue collar working his balls off, remortgaged the house, took out a home equity loan so he could afford some fucking 
F-250, right? That chugs 65 billion fucking gallons of gas at $17 a gallon currently. And you put a magnet on that shit in front of his baby's mama? Bro, you're nuts. Hazard pay. Give this man hazard pay right now. Although what I'm seeing from this exchange, this dude is softer than a cotton swab. His woman has all the piss and vinegar. He's kind of just like kind of scared, non-confrontational, sitting in the back row. I mean, he's wearing pants here, but in this relationship, no pants in sight on this man. Then you just do it again next time. I can't follow you around to be your little babysitter. I don't need a babysitter. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, I do. Why don't you watch all the other fucking people out in the goddamn park? I do. He does. That's what I do. I didn't just oh, pick you guys out. Carts? Yes, that's I caught what does it say on my chest? Cart and arts. The fucking other people out here fucking looting and doing shit, bro. Yeah, Are there I looters out here right now? Exactly. Is there any looter? Stop. Because if there were looters, I would bust them. <laughs> What about the looters, bro? What about Black Lives Matter? You remember that a couple years ago when they were all looting shit from Target? What about those guys? Why are you worried about my cart right now, years later? That's an incredible argument, Chevrolet. Why don't you just put your cart back in the fucking crowd and drive your ass and your dumb girlfriend out of there? You threw shit at my truck. But don't do But that. why did I do that? I didn't do that out of nowhere. I did it for a reason. That doesn't you give you a fucking no right. right. Yeah, it does. I'm a cart narc. That is my job to bust people who are being lazy and causing problems. This person now, they cannot drive out of this spot without moving your cart. Okay, here we go. Look, look at this one. There oh. you go. Oh, he's moving it. Right there. It's not he not folded. It's not my okay, but is that hurting anybody's property? No, but you choose to throw something. Now you these guys are absolute to trash wheels, cans. And you people like you who complain, oh, the wheels are stuck. He, these guys. The car, bro. I did. And I am. And I'm making, I'm trying to. You throw something else in my truck, so help me God. You Do said it. I had to run last time, but then I didn't have to run. Hit him with it. <laughs> I put it on gently. And if I, I won't throw it, I'll gently place. How about I do you said I'd have to run, but I just walked briskly backwards. Oh. Ah, that was actually, I didn't do the fake out. I did the actual toss. Got it on the tailgate. Which they will find when they get home, unless they stop and get out. We'll see. So you want to get some burger cake, perhaps. That would be very, uh, let's see. I don't think they know they got hit. They got tagged, quote unquote. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, sir? You saw that. Some very angry bones there. Now, if I'm being honest, it takes a certain type of person to, to, to make content like this, right? This guy's probably got a bit of a screw loose, but it is incredibly enjoyable to people who like, uh, you know, encouraging common courtesy. Obviously, the best content comes from the people that freak out the most. I like to think, I like to think for myself, if I slugged it up and left the cart somewhere and this dude came up to me and tossed a magnet, on my car that said I'm too lazy to return my car. I would I I think that would be I would think it's hilarious. I'd be like, "Bro, you got me. I you fucking absolutely wrecked me." And I'd return the car and be I'd dap him up and be on my way. I think I would. I don't know until I'm in that situation, but people's pride is just insane, right? Like once you get owned by this dude, just put the car back. Like he's 100% right. You're a lazy slug. You got caught. Just put the car back. Don't turn it into a fucking 15-minute diatribe about the rioters that he's not taking care of. But do you see, did you hear the whole, you probably heard them because they were very loud. Yeah. Like, I, it's about the principle. Yeah, it's about the principle. Exactly. Exactly. They don't, <laughs> they got lazy brains. Thanks, Gabriel, you're a good man. This employee fucking Cardinal loves job. it. Did you see that Narcotillas? Asian Vinnie Cotterini here. All right. What is it with these people? We'll do on one Long more. Island? He's on Long <laughs> Island now. Apparently he travels the country completely. doing this, which is fucking insane. Hey, by the way, what a job. Right Imagine he's on like a first date and the girl's like across the table. They're kind of hitting it off. And she's like, so, um, what do you do for a living? Or what are you, are you like in finance or? He's like, no, I actually, I travel the country. I tour around the United States uh, to different shopping center parking lots and I throw magnets on people's cars that are too lazy to return their shopping carts. <laughs> if that's not going to instantly have to make her change her panties, then she doesn't have a soul. Completely block at the spot. What, and there's a mask in there. Who knows whose that is? I mean, what's going on over here? What, what is this? The car's right there, Chica. Oh, she's a little, she, she's laughing now oh, again. She's a little sheepish. You know, she's done wrong. Well, you get a chance to do right now. That's okay. Now, you know that's not where the cart's going, man. I'm sorry. Well, okay, I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. The cart returns right over there. I'll watch your car for you. So in Long Island, he apparently adopted a Boston accent. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I like it. Drop the R's. Everyone's happy. At least I am. Appreciate that. That's very nice of you. Okay. Some people get all angry about it, but I appreciate you being sorry about Wait, it, doing the right thing. a happy customer? That's, uh, that's very nice of you. Bro, what? You have to leave your cart running. I'll, I'll watch it, though. Appreciate that. What? 
Oh yeah, it's very long. Three whole spots, right? <laughs> yeah. Were those holes in her pants? Was I just seeing, was that like NC-17? Should this be on a different website? Those those weren't leggings. They were like see-through fishnets with just a, a just a round ass, just a huge, man, what a. Stop it. Well, that's nice of you. <clears throat> and uh, imagine some of you knockatees will appreciate them. I don't, would you call those leggings? Those, they're, they're, they're like fishnets of a... I mean, look. My man. It's Long Island. We got different uh, fashions out here than you might see in Manhattan or the Bronx, but... Uh, I need another look at these, dude. Appreciate that, man. That's very responsible so of you. So she's just wearing like you. a thong with... Great job. Would you like a sticker? No, thank you. All right. Well, enjoy. Wow. Got knocks out. That's impressive. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. So that was a very pleasant exchange. That's what I like to think. She got called out and she returned the cart. Well done. Well done. You know what? You got me. I'll return it. I'll try and be better next time. Look Easy. At, can you... Are we seeing this knock? First off, there's a whole lot of something going on. <laughs> but, but this guy, he's directly, directly next to the cart return. <laughs> <laughs> my man, oh my god, my man is parked adjacent to the cart return. Still couldn't put it away. Left it in the middle of four spots. Like, it's harder to be that much of a prick than it is to just, like, take one little burst of energy to put your cart back in the cart corral. What is this? What is this? Cart narc's not having it. You are next to the cart return. We left some trash in and there, he, too. And he, but he's got some ice, and the ice bag, of course, this, that he was, because he's got a cooler in the back there. He left his ice bag out. He left his. Got a cooler uh, in the back, out. right? So we're dealing with, uh, most likely dealing with an alcoholic. Flick. Probably bought like a 30 rack, just filled it up in the back seat. Oh, I got the finger. Oh, oh you got a finger right out of the gates. <laughs> I can't hear you. This is. This the is, window. This is great. I love it. Who the fuck are you, the parking lot police? No, what does it say on my chest? <laughs> kind of. Cart knock. <laughs> yeah, I'm Agent Vinnie Cartarini with the cart knocks. Well, you're an Okay, well, I'm not doing any drugs, so fuck off. Well, it's... <laughs> I'm not doing any drugs, but I'm drunk as fuck. Just re up the 30 rack, and I got a little fifth of vodka in the dash. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad, honestly. There's, I've seen people like this all the time. Giving that to you up there. Oh, got him with the magnet. Oh, the middle finger. Uh-oh. Well, so you want to give him a hood magnet? Oh, he's backing he's... out. You might hit your car, sir. Go right up there. There you go. Enjoy that. How you doing? Yeah. You can't think you can see the flag. Thank you. Putting on my car. That's a big flag that says I don't return my shopping cart like a jerk. Because you didn't. You left it blocking the spot here. And you are right next to the car return. Oh, that's not nice. Would you take you your car? That's not nice. You touch my car, I'm going to fucking touch your fucking face. <laughs> with, with, with your lips? Are you going to give me a kiss? What are you doing? Look, sir, you're old. You're an old man. You don't need to be making threats. You're an old man. Look at you. The immediate gravitation towards violent threats is like the quickest way to tell somebody that's low IQ, right? You get called out for doing something stupid or you're like drunk or you're like anybody who immediately resorts to violence are just like barbaric low IQ buffoons. I've grown up with them. I've known them my entire life. There's so many easier ways and more sophisticated ways to handle things. If you're just like a left curve moron, like that's the first thing you know, fucking kick your ass, little fucking smash your face. I can't imagine, I don't think I've ever had to threaten violence on anyone in my life because you can just use words. You can talk, you can dialogue to solve issues unless you're a smooth brain, in which case the only thing you have going for you is your ability to threaten violence. Well, not, no offense or nothing, but I'm very young. I'm spry, I'm fast. You block it, spots. Yeah, you're gonna run away from me, aren't you? I'm not gonna fight you over a card. That's ridiculous. What kind of immature jerk does that? <laughs> Thank you for taking the card. <laughs> you really wanna have a fight over a shopping cart, bro? Appreciate that. Two of you to do it? Sir, it's not, it's not my cart. This is personal responsibility for you, not for me. This Wait, is my he was job gonna to do it, and now he's- people like yourself and help you be so a better you're, person. Like, you're three you feet away. Them? What does it matter? Do you work for them? What does that matter? Oh, no. So oh, that, look how fast I am. Obviously you don't, so go fuck yourself. Oh, this is my job man. to be a card knock, so you haven't taken your card back. He yet. was job so close. Yeah, I'm trying to help people from Go get... back to fucking Boston, asshole, because uh, that's obviously where you're from. So I'm... Excuse me, what is wrong with Boston, all right? We don't like our R's very much, but it's a beautiful place, great sports. Most people are dickheads, I'll give you that. But fuck you, Long Island's way worse. From the borough, thank you very much. Queens. Go fuck yourself. Well, I got another flag for you right here. You get your, sir, I'll put it on my car. Well, I won't have car. to if you take your car back. Put it on my car. Would you like it? Yeah. You didn't like it a minute ago, you threw it away. And I will again. You, oh, well then, Ooh. why don't you just take your car back? Why don't you just let your ego aside over here? 
my ego. Yeah, because you, you're you, the one being the asshole. So I'm asking. Started off. I, I, but, no, I, well, I started off by asking you politely, and you gave me the finger. It is interesting how pride plays such a vital role in this. Like initially, before he was too aggroed, he was like gonna return it, and then Cartnock just kind of kept egging him. You know what I mean? And. At that point, it's like, no, now now it's not about the, you know, now if I return the cart, I'm doing what he wants me to do. And people's pride can't allow that because when you've been shamed and called out for being a lazy prick, it's just, it's a, it's, it snowballs. And it makes great content, don't get me wrong. But all he had to do was be like, you know what, you're right, throw it like around the corner, eight feet into the corral, get in your car, you got a third of your Budweiser's in the cooler on ice in the back, and go on your way. Start drinking, stay drunk the rest of the day. It's great, but nope. Human pride always gets in the way of the simplest resolution every time. We started, but never. oh, what did I do? No, I what were you doing while I'm sitting in my car? I pointed to the car, and said, "Hey, is this your car?" And you gave me the finger. Did you not? No, yeah, I hear you. Yes, ask you nicely. I'm saying, please return your car. Okay, here comes the flag. I'm sorry. What was that? Yes. Touch you my car. First off, and I'm gonna kick your fucking nuts down your fucking throat. So, first of, no, you're not. You're very old. But look, and secondly, you're very old. How? Then why are you going away? Because I'm not gonna fight you over a car. Then don't you put that on my fucking car. I won't have to if you just do what do you. Do you work for Stop and Shop? What does it matter? It matters very much because if you don't, you don't belong in this parking lot. <laughs> does what it if matter I though? Control the whole parking lot for everybody. There's a lot of different shops. I don't in think here. it matters. More than just the grocery store, sir. Well, they the lease grocery the grocery store is the only one with the shopping carts. Yeah. Okay. Oh, got him! Wait, wait. Why does it? Why does it matter if it? No, that that's not relevant at all. Of course, he doesn't work for the grocery store. Like, they're not gonna have an employee go out and just like harass customers, bro. Like, use your fucking non-existent brain. They take them to other places. They hit people's cars. Do you want to be the kind of person you're worried about your car? What about that rolling hit somebody else's car? Why are you being so selfish? Is it rolling? Not this moment. But what, did we not have a lot of wind recently? A lot of rain? I we. Oh yeah. You we, put that on my car. Then you Do not fucking put that thing on my First car. off, sir, no offense, your car's not that, that's nothing special. I don't oh, a don't I diss do. the Mercury like that. I'm here looking out for everybody's car. What are you doing, sir? Uh-oh. You seem to be a victim. Uh fucking beat the living fuck out of me. That's what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> sir, that's assault right there. That's assault. You're threatening. This guy, I mean, he's quite, you know, you had to feel bad. He feels like a borderline functioning alcoholic. I mean, there's, there's a, there's actually a, uh, there's a, a liquor store outside of the, that's next to the barbershop I go to. And there's just like a recurring cast of characters that show up every single day. They drive up, they get like their two pints of vodka and they're just like functioning. I, I say functioning, probably not functioning. They're just alcoholics and they need like a fifth in the morning and they keep one in the dash and it's just like you can see it a mile away and this type of dude just feels like there's got to be booze in that cooler in the back seat right has to be it's probably like 11 in the morning just getting started probably already three sheets but it's going to get way worse the day goes on was not expecting to get called out for not returning his cart to the cart corral and he would rather literally fight a random dude with a camera than just put his cart four feet into the cart corral. If the wrinkles in his brain weren't demolished by the habitually elevated blood alcohol in his bloodstream, he would know that the quickest way to his Budweiser is just to put the cart back in his car and he's out of there. No, no, he's running around the parking lot getting clapped on camera. And you're vandalizing my car. By What's the damage? What's I don't the know damage? about vandalizing. It's only to your ego. That's the only damage. Oh. And the damage is going to be to your fucking face. And sir, I'm so highly trained in cart maga. Let me help you out here. Yes, sir, that's true. I am. <laughs> Can you please take your cart back, sir? No. Why not? Because I asked you? Because you never asked me nice. I did too, and you flipped me off. I sat out the- I hear you babbling. A you heard me asking nicely, and you flipped me well, off twice. I'm going to drive away what you think. Well, that's not yeah. very- then you're going to- the people going to know what a jerk you are. You want, you want the bumper magnet, or you want the flag? Put them both. Well, you have the okay. bumper magnet up front already, don't you? Or you throw that away. Oh, there it is. Right there? Yeah. Same thing. I'll put it on the back so everybody can see, okay? <laughs> So that way, the people. And then I'm gonna turn around and run your ass the fuck over. No, you won't, sir. You're a Imagine. bunch of talk here. I know you're tight. You're a big tough guy. Just be, be a, don't be a juvenile here, dude. Just return your car. You're being the juvenile. I'm being responsible. I'm saying, hey, we don't need to be litter bugs and trash. By the way, you littered in this car too with the ice bag and the. the, the... Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, see. All right, Nick's a tough guy. He's gonna beat me up over here. He's got his. Uh, he's gonna run me over over here. And all I'm doing, I'm knocking over here. This is my job. Oh, Boston. Get out of here with your Boston. <laughs> hey. Agent Vinnie Carterini. 
the street in the Boston, streets of the Bronx. Right? Oh, he puts it back. Yeah. Cut knocks out. Anyways, this has been a new revelation for me. I didn't know this existed, but he's been doing this for years. So I was in my house on the laptop earlier when I found out, I found out about this channel, and I showed my wife, and she was so pumped. If you guys know Mrs. Lush, you know she's very particular, and one thing she can't stand is people that don't return carts after they're done shopping. Listen, I know this is a hotly debated topic. I know some of you are going to watch this and be like, huh, whatever, Leon, I don't return carts. I'm an alpha male. I let other people, the fucking sheep, return my carts because I'm an alpha, I'm a wolf, and everybody else is a sheep. That is tiny dick energy, okay? There is nothing more alpha than showing love for your fellow man in the form of doing what's right so that whoever's working that job for minimum wage doesn't have to clean up your fucking mess. They just go to where the things are supposed to be and they put them back what they're getting paid to do. Is it the end of the world if you don't put your cart back? Of course not, but it's a glaring indication of the type of character that lives inside your soul. So shout out Cartnarks for the entertainment and shout out you guys for banging with me on this one. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Please, before you go, return your goddamn cart and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button. I appreciate you. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.